snack, and Essie, plus Sprinkles the bear. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Amy Jo for Nat and Essie, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this adorable racket fidget toy. But before I show you that, I wanna show you the other fidget toys that I made. This one turned out really well, and I used foam sheets to make the little popping part. This was the first one that I made. <laughs> it didn't turn out well at all. It's cute on this side, but look at this. <laughs> Still fun though. To make the style of fidget toy that I'm gonna show you today, we're gonna be using, um, this is actually from Dentine Ice Gum. It was really hard to find, but we're gonna use this. We're gonna use some foam, some cardboard, I have a cutting mat, a craft knife, some scissors, and some glue. After you figure out what you're gonna make, you just draw the object. So here is a little cardboard cutout of the rocket ship. And then I'm gonna be tracing that onto a thicker piece of cardboard and onto our foam sheets. Now the trick and I learned this in my first two videos. The trick is to make sure that when you are tracing whatever object that you're gonna make, you don't trace it all on the same side. I've been calling it a sandwich, so you wanna make sure that you trace it on, well, it doesn't matter for the cardboard because you're only doing that once, but you'll be tracing it twice on the foam. You wanna trace this side, and this side, think of it like a sandwich. So you're you're tracing it so that when you stack them on top of one another, they match up. Okay, so I'm just gonna trace our rocket on the cardboard. And you could use paper. I just happen to have this chipboard. It's a little easier to use because it's, you know, pretty thick. But paper would definitely work. Or you could use an old cereal box, that would work. And then we need to cut this out. And after you have that cut out, then you trace it onto your foam. Okay, to keep mine straight, I have just labeled it top and bottom. You could say front or back. So you wanna make sure, this is the part where it can get confusing. So you're gonna trace one side, either front or back. I'm calling mine again, top or bottom. So top, and then flip it over and trace the bottom. That way, when you cut them out, because they're not perfectly symmetrical, you can't do that. It's, I mean, I don't, I can't do that. <laughs> so you want them to fit together perfectly on top of the cardboard. So that's our next step. Okay, so now I'm flipping it over to do the back or the bottom. I'm gonna do the same thing. Now we have to trace and cut out part where we're gonna insert the little plastic piece. Then you take your craft knife and cut this piece out. And what I do is I cut just a little bit on the inside, which will leave a lip so that you can glue this inside. So just cut right along the inside to leave yourself a tiny little amount of cardboard. Should fit like this. Then we're gonna use the template, the cardboard piece, to trace that onto each piece of the foam. And then you cut this out again with your craft knife. Okay, after you have those cut out, then you cut out your rocket ship. Okay, let's do this one. Thank you. 
But before you glue it in, make sure that you take all of the gum out. <laughs> That's a very important step. And next we'll add the foam pieces. After you have it all glued together, it's ready. And I was thinking there are lots of different ways that you could personalize it. You could paint or use markers on the clear part, and you could do the same on the outer part. You could add different colors of foam, or you could paint or draw on it. Okay, I'm calling this a success. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Bye.